CETV presents America's favorite virtual sports entertainment program, Chow Racing 2023, for the week of December 3rd. The action starts off with week 16 on the men's division portion. Everyone is on the clock and ready to go. Let's have a challenge. We start off with Tate Miller, Annie Bongrubber, Eli Hauser, and Don Winnings on the park course. And Eli Hauser made this race look nice and easy. What an incredible straight by Eli Hauser, using all his muscles to quickly make it to the goal line. So now he is up to 8 wins for a 2023 season thus far, and his fan club is firing. Now, here's your host, Brandon Jennings! Hello, Jow Racing Universe, and welcome once again to Jow Racing 2023, America's favorite virtual sports entertainment program. With the holidays just around the corner, you can bet your bond dollar that everyone will be good this Christmas season. Right now, we are doing another round of men's mission portion for this first portion of our show. And congratulations to Lion House on a dominating power ability on race number one. Back for race number two after this sponsor. This week's program on Channel Racing 2023 is sponsored by Fisher Price. Brandon Channings and Paul Sycamore are ready to go on the action in this best of December holiday spirit. And who do who do we have again for race number two, Paul? We have Jack Parsett, Patrick Garner, Tess Ebert, and Michael Creighton for race number two. It will be held on the Amphis course. Could be sticking with the bitches, could gamble at the water path. But no matter what happens, everyone will be a winner no matter who wins it. Everyone is on the clock, and let's rock this place! And Jack is quarterback. That means Patrick, Tess, and Michael will have the opening edge as they make their way out of the starting gates. Right now, it is Tess Evan who has come in on the lead, with Michael Grayson and Patrick Garner right on their tail in second and third place. And it looks like number one is heading for the water of the Silver Chow. As the first superstar guest viewers on this week's program is Michael Grayson, who is catching up to Tess Ever over at the bridges. And look who took a shortcut at the four seat on the mass. It's Jack Parson! And Jack Parson wins a comeback affair after going to mass. Well done! <coughs> As number eight, one of the next commands because as Tess and, and Patrick were both going to rest. Well, it was like Michael Green is going to have to sell for second place. As Patrick Garner will have the next commands because and he passed one. So, hey, so he will have to drop down to last place. Well, that's it for this race. Congratulations to Jack Parson on an incredible comeback victory. Yep, he was a little sleepy, but he still got the win. Back in a bit, do not go away. Folks, we're just getting started with this week's show. Let's hear about race number three. All right, race number three will have Vance Alfred Porters, Ramon Chaunty, Kim Niggersberg, and Riley Chesters. These four gentlemen, we need to get a move on if they want to get wins for the season. Let's head over to the Sapphire Quiz and find out who deserves to earn a victory for this week's show. Best of luck to the next four superstars, and please start the base! Alright, the next four superstars are underway as they move, run across the checker path, and down goes Vance for the count. Finally, bowing with Vance for the lead up in the front. All we want is to do it, Chow. It's going to be an exciting contest, a sunny day here in the virtual Chowie Stadium. Perfect temperatures over there. And who will get the first command, Speamers? It is number two. That's who. Enough to take the lead over the fourth in the chat with fourth place. And number eight was sleeping, so he'll have to drop down to last place. And Speamers, number two in this race, we may buy Vance Alfred Pointers. He's not going to rest, folks. He's going to be bowing with Riley Chester's formerly up in the front. 
They're making their way towards home stretch right now. And as number eight takes the next command, Spears tries to stay alive. Fans has made a pass from Valley, and he has come in on the lead. Now trying to hold on Valley for the win. As number eight takes back to back Spears, Vance is going to get the win right here with there, folks. Vance our flag pointers beats our Valley Chesters for the win. What an incredible speed buzz it was, and it paid off. As the last speed buzz on this base was made by number seven. So, Tally went up for Vance our flag pointers. Yep, that speed buzz did it, and we'll have another side race for you after we present a word from this. Now, we're in race number four of week 16's Mess Vision portion. That's why, and for this next race, we have Rusty Jackson, Stephen Robinson, Ricky Nelson, and the Hard Chain Master, Ethan Kingsley. It will be held on the Ruby Course. This will be the first of two Ruby Course races for our schedule this week. So get your swimming gears ready, and let's have a chow race momentarily. Everyone's on our cross, without further ado, let's have a chow race! Alright, the HL off and running out of the water, and it looks like Rusty Jockington has come in on the lead, with Stevie Robinson right on his tail in second place. I don't think we're going to have a speed bus to stop Rusty Jockington from getting a win. Nope, Rusty's going to win this one here, folks. Rusty Jockington improves the seven wins for the 2023 season tonight. Yep. Rusty Jackson is a winner, and coming up, we got more Saiyaj for you, but first, have a look at this. Welcome back to our program. Who do we have next, Paul? Race number five will feature Gary Coles, Shane Flanningham, Dick Steiner, and Bryson Dorns. So, we're going to have the balls again because the next race is going to be held on the power course. This is the second power course race for the men's division portion. And we wish him good luck as always. Everyone's on the clock and please start the race. So, on the power course, they just have to push him on the other side of the rainbow path. And the first contestant to make it across the finish line, and no matter where they stand, will win this one. Looks like Dick Steiner has a pretty good jump. And here comes Dick Steiner making way to a spin line. And Dick Steiner barely holds up by the door for the win. Dick Steiner now improves above 500 at 9 and 8. Yep, what a close victory by Dick Steiner. Lots more fun after this announcement. Stay tuned. And now we have the current leader in our win-loss records for the 2023 season. That's why right, it is our defending world champion, Bobby K, with an 11-5 record after 16 races. Tonight, he'll be taking on Mitch Carmel, Brooks Robinson, and O.J. Upton. So, Bobby K is make, trying to make use of his S-Ranks running ability to try to maintain his advantage over the other three competitors. Let's find out who is going to win this one. Let's rock this place! Bobby K is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Will any of the other three challengers, Mitch, Brooks, or OJ, be able to catch up to Bobby's incredible speed? The other three challengers, we need to get wins if they want to come back next season. Bobby K is all in the lead over the, over the eight challenge right now. But it looks like someone is heading for the water. And there goes Bobby K. There he goes! He's making all his speed over at the hill. As OG undertakes speed runs and he's going to rest. And Mitch Carmel upsets Bobby K with a shortcut! He upsets Bobby K, the, the leader on win loss records with authority. As number eight, while the next command is yes, unbelievable. Bobby K has been upset by Mitch Carmel tonight. That was a pity. Anyway, Brooks Ross will have the last few years. Congratulations, Mitch Carmel. Yep, he deserves an upset of the year nominee because Bobby K was the leader. Well done by Mitch and some more something coming out. Do not go away. So if you just missed out on the last race before our halftime break, 
you know that we just recorded our second upset of the year nominee for the 2023 season with Mitch Carmel. That was an exciting race indeed. And now, let's proceed to the second half of week 16 of the men's division portion. And for race number 7, Brandon, we have Peter Foles, Ernie Zanchev, Thomas Linklater, and Austin Gerald on the sapphire course. So with that major upset victory by Mitch Carmel in race number six in the books, let's find out who have the lucky seven dip in race number seven. Best of luck to the next four players, and let's have a challenge! All right, lucky race number seven of week 16 on the men's division portion. Peter Foles and Austin Jones are bowing for the week up in the front, with Ernie Sanchez not too far behind, and he turns for more to the crowd. Peter and Austin are making their way towards the wall, and down goes Austin Jones for the count. And he, there goes Austin Jones with the first speed bus on this race, and he will have command of the lead over Peter Falls. Take a look at the Silver Challenge 1 and Silver Challenge goes the rest in the back. As the superstar to get speed race number 2 is the computer wizard, Peter Falls. He wakes up on his nap real quickly, but will he be able to make the pass from our current leader, Austin Jones? We'll find out as these two chow now enter the home stretch. Next PS belongs to Thomas Linglader, who currently has eight wins as of right now, but I think he's gonna to have to retain for a place behind Peter Falls. Yep, also generals has this race all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. As number 8 fights stay alive with next Beamers, Peter Falls will not have enough to catch up to him in time. Also generals is our winner over Peter Falls. He is now up to five wins. Yep. He still has a long way to go. He wants to make the muscle car for next season, but I'm sure he'll be a winner indeed. Coming up, we got more exciting action for you, but first, have a look at this. And now, let's sip with our race number eight. All right, race number eight will have Ben Henderson taking on the Gum Star Muscle, Gary Dayton, Barry Winfred, and Kenny Days. Kenny is going in second place of the most win victories thus far this season with 10 victories. So a win by Kenny Days tonight will tie with Bobby K for the most wins of the 2023 season at 11 victories. Will we make it happen? We'll find out soon enough. So the players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock and let's mark this place. All in the side the guns, Tom Master guaranteed is gonna have to command the lead. His Gundam Stomp Dance Dancing Group is on his feet cheering on. This is not looking good for Kenny Nays. He wants his own win, but I think Gary Dayton is going to hold on the competition to win this one. Yep, yeah? he's going to do it right over there. Gary Dayton gets the bed away. Yeah, it's Ben Henderson will have speed us. Yep, yeah? tied into the gun style dance again. That's right. Gary Dayton now has eight bed as of right now. And we'll be right back right after this. Well, we are still a few races away from holding our main event for the week. So, Paul, let's continue our schedule for race number nine. All right, race number nine, we'll have Bruno Alonso, Chip Sube, Larry Monroe, and Leon Arnesta on the power course. There's a look in the lineup. We place the balls on our field once again and wish these chaps best of luck as always. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the base! There goes Bruno also quickly pushing his ball. Leon is going to mess. And Bruno's going to win an easy one. No doubt by. Bruno also is our winner in an easy landslide affair for race number nine. So Bruno Alonso is now up to seven wins. He is fighting to keep his roster cut alive for one more week. You said it, Paul. And we'll have another side race for you after these messages. So stay tuned. The fun is just about to get heating up. Welcome back from our commercial break, everyone. Now let's do race number 10. And for this next race, we have Dominic P. Harrells, Corey Sanchester, Eric Crosby, and Daniel Heaton. 
on the Amphis course. This is the last Amphis course match for the men's division portion of this week's show. So let's see how it will store for our four chow and last time of challenge. And Corey is with us. So let's watch Dominic, Eric, and Danielle. These three chat will have control of the opening edge. And now Dominic is going to sleep. So it's Corey said. Eric Crosby versus Daniel Heenan up in the front, with Daniel Heenan having command of the in first place, and number seven and Eric Crosby are heading for the water. As number one, we have the first three brothers in his face, and we have a couple of chairs who took control. I got yum. Number seven is going to rest at the top of the hill, so the winner of this race is the Shell Outlaw Eric Crosby. And starting the team house, we have to number two. The shout out on Eric Crosby got the victory over number seven. And look at this. Now, Corey Sanchez also took a shortcut. But it was the shout out on himself who got there first. So he gets the win as number two, who's trying to hold on numbers one and eight over the, over the back of the pack. We'll have the next game FPS, and that's going to do it. So Eric Crosby is now the four wins. Yep, he can call himself a winner for once. And there's more seven coming up to not go away. Well, folks, coming up in the next segment, we'll have our returning main event champion, Buster Jabba, with us. Yep, and we'll find out if he'll have enough talent to earn his third and final Superstar of the Week victory. But first, for race number 11, we have Raymond Hill, Alex Marcuson, TJ Edwards, and KC Richardson on the third and final Sapphire Course match on the men's division portion of our show. The players line up and ready to go. Everyone's on the clock and let's rock this place! And Alex Marcuson is for us, which means Raymond, TJ, and KC will have the opening edge, and so it's number one who is also one of us. Right now, it is KC Richardson who is battling with Raymond Hill up in the front. Raymond Hill trying to battle with TJ Edwards for second place right behind Casey Richardson and down goes Casey Richardson from the count as number one. We'll have the first few us, but that was a total pity. He got nothing at all that time. And poor number two is getting straight in last place as Alice Marcuson, who was trying to make a comeback out of forces going to rest, takes speed rest number two. And right now it is Casey Richardson who has the lead over Raymond Hill as they make the way towards Hall Stretch. As number one, we'll get a return that makes his second speed bus away. So, of course, that last one was a pity, of course. And right now, Casey Richardson has the lead. And Raymond Hill is not going to make the pass from Casey Richardson. Casey is going to hold on Raymond Hill for the bit rate. As number two takes speed bus by staying alive, Raymond Hill will not have enough distance to catch up to KC in time. KC Richardson holds on Raymond Hill for the bit rate. KC is now up to five wins for the season. He know he is a winner this week, as Alex Marcuson will get his second speed rest, and poor number two has no hope for surviving whatsoever. So, time we went off for Casey Richardson. I agree with you, and will Buster the Job will get his third and final main event victory this week? Find out after the break. Well, folks, it's that time again. That's fine, it's made of it time for week 16's men's vision portion. And it's presented by Kroger, offering something fresh for everyone this holiday season. Our returning champion, Buster Jaro, is looking for his third and final superstar on the week honors in the main event victory. And to get that honor, he'll have to face Joshua Samoy, Ozzy Jenkins, and no one helps. So let's go down to the ammo course and let's hope for the very best for Buster the Jabo. Everyone is on the clock. So without further ado, please start the race. And Joshua Samoy is going to rest. Which means Buster, Ozzy, and no one will have the opening edge. <coughs> and now these three are going to cheat the Padres and bring down that coconut shaped food. And now they're going to eat the food. And there goes Ozzy Jenkins. He will have command on lead over Buster the Jamo, our returning main event champion. And it looks like Ozzy is Buster the Jamo is heading for the one, that's for sure. As number eight will start on the spears for this week's main event, presented by Kroger. Buster the Jamo has taken one path, and he easily gains command on the lead. He wants to spur the final Super Sonic honors after something on his previous main event loss. 
as PS number two in this place were made by Joshua Samoa. And right now, coming in second place, we have Ozzy Jagex. He won a world championship back in 2022. Currently sitting in second place behind our leader, Buster Jarman Cameron. As the next PS were made by number eight, as we pass the one minute mark. That makes his second speed bus on the race, but he is still in last place behind the competition. And no one else also really needs some help. He is battling with number 7 for a third place at the current moment. And there goes number 7. He has command lead number 4 to the channel with next speed bus. Goes sitting in third place ahead of uh, no one else. Meanwhile, Buster Jabo is the first to home stretch back up in front. With Ozzy Jenkins still have a chance to catch up to him in a hurry. Next PS belongs to Joshua Samoa. That makes his second speed bus in the race. <coughs> now try to catch up with the crowd a little bit. And take a look at the silver child as they join Joshua Samoa climbing on one back. And who will get the next one? It is no one else. He can forget about going west. But he still has to get through Ozzy Jenkins before he has to get through Buster Jamo. Buster trying to wrap things up over Ozzy Jenkins at the current moment. There he goes. He got the home stretch. I think Buster's going to get the job done here this week. Yep. As Joshua Samuel gets his first speed bus in the base, Buster's going to complete his Super Sonic Week Trilogy tonight. Buster Jamo gets his third and final main event victory for the season. And take a look at number seven. He can't forget about being Toki by the other Silver Child. He gets his second speedrun. And once again, number two is getting straight in last place behind number one. So, Buster Jamo did it. Yep, it took him a while since he had a loss in the previous main event. But he got it done. Back in a bit. Do not go away.